and many thanks for joining me for another Somerset Real Ale review. Um, I've got uh, here, um, I bought some beers in uh, West Country Ales, westcountryales.co.uk um, on the weekend. And uh, well, it is the weekend, yesterday I actually bought them. Um, I got some of the Arbor uh, range, their single hop series, which I'm a massive fan. Those of you who watch my videos, you, you know that I'm a massive fan of Arbor Ales at the moment. And I got some good Moors beers as well. I didn't do a, um, a video of what I bought, I, I've just posted a picture on. Uh, on uh, Ginge Real Ale Trail, uh, Stuart Pickard's um, site. If you um, if you follow him, you can see the picture that I put on there on Facebook. <coughs> um, but uh, yeah, anyway, so I got this uh, the Phoenix, uh, four percent ABV, um, brown five hundred ml bottle. I, uh, if it's anything like the Citra that I have from them, well, that was just too much of a good beer. Let's uh, whoa. I had a really skunky smell then when I pop that open, which um, I would be very surprised if it is. Very surprised. But I don't believe I've actually had any Phoenix. Um, although I may have done in another beer. I think it is bottle conditioned this, so. Um, well, it's sort of golden in colour, pretty cloudy, but then it is bottle conditioned. Plenty of carbonation stream from the base there. It is pretty cloudy. One finger, pure white head. Yeah, see now it's not it's not skunky. It smells a bit like a lager. Very zesty. It smells like a bit of a SARS look I mean uh, <laughs> SARS is the only lager hop I know. Oh, Herzbrucker as well. That's a German one, I believe, obviously, from the sound of it. It does sound very lagery. Sound, smell very lagery. It's just like that sort of nice, crisp lemon bitterness. A sort of a really sharp, refreshing sort of zestiness in it. You get a slight bit of sweetness. I'm not, I really don't know anything about Phoenix, so this is going to be a massive surprise to me. So let's dig in anyway. Cheers, everyone. was expecting it to taste like a lager um, but it doesn't well no that's a lie it sort of does but it's just a really nice sort of bitter zesty twangy sort of flavor to it massively moorish I'll fire the rest in a minute Oh, that is really cloudy, that is now. Um, I'm not too worried about getting the sediment in. I don't personally mind it, but oh, it's all gone in anyway. There was a little bit left in the bottle, but I doubt you're going to catch that anyway. Um, I'll let you have a little look at what's on the bottle in a minute. And I'll read out the bits that I want to read. Because I'm not going to read it all to you. It takes up too much time. Um, I wouldn't read about the bottle conditioning. Look it up on the internet if you want to know about bottle conditioned beers. Uh, single Hop Phoenix. As the name suggests, we've used just one variety of hop in this pale golden ale. For this range, we select the more interesting hops and add several bucket loads to each brew. This one uses the English variety Phoenix. English hop, is it? Oh, fantastic. Expect subtle fruity flavours with gentle hints of spice and a very smooth bitter finish. Um, it is such that is so different. I, I I've never tasted anything else like that. If, if it didn't have that slight sort of bitter twang to it, you wouldn't even know that was a beer. Subtle fruity flavours, I suppose it has. I can't get any spice in there. I'm just getting real massive zestiness and bitterness out of it. Look, it does taste like a good pale ale, a modern classic um, pale ale, but 
Yeah, pale golden ale, I suppose. It is a, such a different beer. That is really. I tell you what, Arbor. I mean, you've seen the bottle. They they don't make many of these beers. It's just like they they just brew them as one offs. And how they can get the artwork so good for like one batch is just. I think it's brilliant. They 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 are the wow. Well, one of my favourite breweries at the moment, along with Moors. Um, they're just a phenomenal brewery. And they're just throwing out all these crazy styles. That's worked. I, I, I'd love to session that. Four percent. I could happily drink that all night. Um, it's not as good as the Citra, but then I don't think anything ever is. I think. I mean, I was chatting with Fred from West Country Ales on the weekend, and um, we both agreed that their Citra single hop. I mean, that that is just one of the best beers I've ever tasted, and he, he agreed the same. One of the best IPAs I ever tasted. It was just possibly the best it was so good i really think if anyone's watching this from arbor please please carry on making that uh, single hop citra just make it forever because it, it's just i just think it's a brilliant beer this is is very good but it's it's not up there with that citra um that's still that's still an eight out of ten beer it really is that is really worth trying that. I think it's definitely worth going out to try that. Um, that's the Arbor, Arbor Ales Single Hop Series Phoenix. Thanks for watching. Love to see your comments in the comments box. Um, and I hope you join me again soon for another review. Cheers.